everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sari and you are watching my knitting podcast videos. And I have a pile of everything that I want to show to you uh, here next to me. I think you can see something very bright and something also very bright over here. Um, maybe not my usual color patterns, <laughs> color choices, but uh, sometimes, um, sometimes I get a bit crazy and do something that is totally not me and uh, these are something like that but I will show them to you very soon. First I want to talk about my newest pattern release. So this is the Wood and Monty. I released the pattern on Friday and here you can see it. I'll show it to you. So it looks like this. It's a cropped length a uh, little t-shirt with a uh, circular yoke so it has this a uh, floral inspired lace and bubble pattern. I think these look like little flowers with with the bubbles. So when I was knitting this back in May, we had um, wood anemones covering the woods next to our house. So we have a lot of forest near our house and they were filled with wood anemones. I, have, I don't think I have ever seen Wood, so many wood animals anywhere. Um, if you're new to my channel, we moved to a new house, a new area in the winter or just before Christmas at the beginning of November. So this is our first spring in this area and it's been so nice to watch the nature um, wake from the winter and all the bloom flowers that are blooming after each other. So. That has been a great joy to me during the past few months. And yeah, I named this tea after the wood anemones in the forest next to our our little house. So you start at the neckband, you work all the way down to the end of the lace pattern. So the increases are incorporated into the lace pattern. And the lace is actually a lot easier than it looks like. It has a very short repeats and there isn't that much going on um, per round. And if you are not into making bubbles, you can always leave the bubbles out. So just make pearl stitch where there is a bubble and leave them out. I think the lace would look really beautiful even without the bubbles. So here's the view from the back. And I decided to add a little discount on Ravelry for all you, all you YouTubers. So if you want to get the pattern with a 15% discount, then go to my Ravelry store. I will link it below this video in the uh, description section. I will link all the, all the yarn names, pattern names, um, everything, every link that you need. If I mention the link, then it's in the in the um, uh, description of this video. So go there, you will find my Ravelry store, and there um, use the code Wood Anemone at a Ravelry checkout. So you will get a fifteen percent discount on this pattern, and the code is valid until twenty sixth of June. So two weeks from now. You can use it to buy the pattern. I'm also going to start a, a summer tea and top knit along after midsummer. So if you want to get your pattern and yarns ready for that, now is a good time. Um, um, I always say with my knit alongs that you can uh, continue something that you have already started before. So it, you don't have to start knitting your summer tea, especially I think in the summer, because summer is so short, so you don't have to wait until midsummer to start your summer project. Just finish it during the knit along and you're fine. So if you already want to cast on with your wood and moon tea, just go for it and you can still join the, the knit along. So the link to the pattern and the discount code are below this video. The, the code was wood anemone, everything written together. All uh, I don't think it matters if you have a small letters or big letters, but all caps, wood anemone, everything together, and 
you get a 15% discount on Ravelry on this pattern. And I have to show you because I really liked the lace pattern that I used here. So I decided to use the same, same pattern for this little tank top. And I'm going to show you now how it looks like when I'm wearing it. So I have the wood animal on top over here. And it's on a cable cord at the moment, so I could take off the needles. And this is actually the very first time that I'm trying this on, so let's keep our fingers crossed that the fit is good. And it is actually perfect. I'm still going to add a bit of length for body maybe five centimeters and then do either bottom ripping or I might do a folded hem for this as well. So it actually shows really well because I have the black tank top under this so you can see the lace very clearly. So this is how it looks at the moment and there is also the same lace on the back. Super pleased with this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the yarn that I used for this little uh, tank top, wood and a moon tank top, is the same yarn that I used for this um, t-shirt. So it's a uh, Paspali Fila di Naturali um, Regines and this is the colorway number seven. It's like a very light lemon yellow. Super nice. I really like it. I really like this. This stuff, how it's turning out. And I have almost finished writing the pattern. I just have to finish uh, working on the hem. And then I will call for test knitters for this one and I always call for my test knitters in my Ravelry group I will also link that below this video so if you want to be one of my test knitters uh, go and join my Ravelry group so you will know when I have a new test knit coming but this is going to come uh, available for test knitting ne next week and the pattern is coming out in July, so this was the wood anemone top, this is the wood anemone tea, and this is the top. So that's that. Um, let's take this really bright yellow yarn over here, because I think everybody wants to see what I'm making. <laughs> it looks almost fluorescent on my camera screen, so it's actually almost as bright as it looks like on, on the screen. So this yarn is um, from La Bien Amy. This is their Merida single. And the colorway is called Tennis Ball. And I think it's the perfect name to describe this color. So it's not green. It's not yellow, it's something between those two. So in certain light it looks more green, in certain light it's more yellow, but it's um, super nice, very bright, very neon. And I'm making a second cooter top. So here you can see the pattern starting to form. And I'm actually filming a tutorial video for the cooter top at the same time. So I made a tutorial for the sunset camisole. You might want to check that out. So if you have a trouble, you get stuck with the sunset camisole pattern, there's a YouTube tutorial for that. I'm making one for the cooter top. So I made the original cooter top um, last summer. It was an instant favorite for both for me and for knitters, so there have been a lot of people who have been knitting the cooter top ever since. I used um, Merino Linen blend from uh, Cocon Yarns, so mine is like a very uh, creamy 
beige beige color and this time I wanted to use something a lot brighter I think it's going to look really nice I have this like um, brownish grayish linen pants on me and I also have a linen shirt that goes with with the, with the pants so I think they're going to look really nice with the pants and and the linen shirt so that's going to be my summer uniform so kutar top in the making and the kutar top pattern is already available on Ravelry I will link it below this video so if you want to get that you can you can get get it from there and yeah I also have queen fiber uh, this is the merino single from them the cover colorway is called hummingbird and it's like this little neon speckles on a pale pink base and I'm going to use this not for a second cooter top but while I was working on it I got this like idea that I want to make a cooter bralette so that's something that I'm going to be casting on after I finished cooter top so cooter bralette in this colorway and then I have another cooter project actually so this is going to be a cooter wrap and I'll just put it on and I will show you how it looks like when I'm wearing it. So this is the cooter wrap. Luna is here to join my YouTube video like she usually always comes and joins us. So this is the cooter wrap might be a bit hard to see now that I have a white t-shirt underneath here but I'm going to add a few more increases on each of these fronts so they are going to go um, like on top of each other one is beneath and one is above and then I'm going to make a little hole here for the belt so the belt comes from this side goes through the hole on the side and there's an, an, another part of the belt on this side and then you can tie it on the side and it has the same cooter lace pattern over here on both fronts and I have some increases for the armhole so it's going to have um, short sleeves so it's going to be t-shirt length and I'm going to do short row shaping for for the sleeves so it has like this very fitted look <laughs> Luna wants to say hi to you all she's usually always when I start to film she comes here and I think she knows that I'm going to be stuck in one place for a little while so she comes here and wants to have some attention so the yarn that I've been using uh, it's for knitting for olive so this is the uh, merino um, base and the soft silk mohair base they are both in the colorway kit or putty I think was the English name for the, the colorway but yeah I think this is going to be really nice I'm really look, looking forward to wearing it and I was thinking maybe making a long sleeved version for for the winter but yeah cooter wrap so this is the Neptune top and I'll just change into it and then I will show a bit more of it to you. So this is the Neptune top and the last time I showed it to you it only had a very small part of the front uh, that I had been knitting. And here's the little tube that I showed to you that I was making. I don't think I was putting my fingers <laughs> in it in the same way that I'm doing now. Uh, but yeah, this is where I said the eye cord would go. And now we have an eye cord that is keeping everything in place. And yeah, it 
looks like this. I still haven't blocked it. I've been a bit lazy, so the, stitch, the stitches are still a bit uneven, as you can see. And I made a double folded hem for this. I like that for my, especially for summer patterns. First of all, it keeps the, the design very minimalistic because it doesn't have the extra texture of ribbing here at the bottom. And also, it helps to weigh down the hem. So, um, does, first of all, it doesn't start to curl because uh, if it was just raw sticking at the stitch edge, it would start to curl. So this fold weights it down and also gives it a really nice drape because it weighs a bit more than just like a single piece of, um, or, or single, single um, layer of fabric. And it has a little slit on the back. As you can see, and the pattern is currently being test knitted and the pattern has an alternative that if you don't want to have the slit at the back, you can always make two of these front pieces and then join them together at underarm. But yeah, I used knitting for olives, uh, pure silk for this one. I've talked about that yarn a lot. Um, it's one of my favorite summer yarns. So this time I didn't use a double like I often do. So this is just a single strand and it looks like like this. I'm really happy how it looked, turned out. Oh, the colorway was called Haze. I think I forgot to mention that. But yeah, you can see it here. And I have a yarn for second one I'm going to cast on a second one and I decided to pick something a bit more bright so this is also knitting for olives pure silk it's the same yarn and the colorway is called Faksha so it's a really nice nice color I think it's going to be perfect for this um, so this is I think more sophisticated in this very um, it's like beige uh, gray color and this is going to be more sassy I think so I'm going to be casting on a second Neptune top with the function color it's very exciting a uh, little while ago I asked on my Instagram stories um, if you have some questions that you want to ask me and I will try my best to answer them in my video. So I got quite a lot of questions, so I'm not going to answer all of them. Some of them were um, about where I find my inspiration, who are my, my idols. I made a similar video, I think two years ago. Um, I will link it below this video and also there's like a little tap at the top corner uh, that you can also click and you will get to the video where I answer questions from two years ago. So my inspiration sources or my my idols haven't really changed from then. So you can watch it there. Um, another question that I got was um, if I knit everything myself because I seem to be very productive. Well, first of all, um, I knit a lot, so I knit every day. Sometimes I knit only a few rows, that's very rare. Usually I, I spend at least one hour, maybe two, maybe sometimes even more um, time knitting. And since I've been knitting uh, quite a long time, also I knit um, with a continental style, which I think is a slightly faster way to work than um, the throwing style, I don't know if, it, if it's what it's called, but anyway, so I have the yarn on my my uh, left hand when I'm knitting and I've been trying to teach myself to minimize the movement, so I, I try to make as small movements as possible when I'm knitting, so that also makes it faster because I don't have to move my hands that much to make one stitch. So first of all, I'm a fast Quite fast knitter, not the fastest, but quite fast. Um, I, I'm, it's very easy for me to um, memorize patterns. I have a kind of like a photographic memory, 
so I just look at the chart and then I remember what is happening. For example, I have needed to go that pattern so many times that I know it by heart, so I, I, I can just need it. I don't have to watch the chart all the time, I don't have to count stitches, um, I don't really use stitch markers <clears throat> in my work either. So that is one, one thing also that makes me a fast knitter. And since this is my day job, so I don't have to go to an office or, or somewhere else and work eight hours and then come home and, and make food and clean and do all of that. I can use my whole eight hours to knit if I have to. Uh, I rarely do that. Um, usually I knit about one hour during the day and then in the evening after the kid is off to bed and uh, I put on Netflix or, or HBO and watch something and then I will knit depending on the time uh, when my son went to bed maybe one hour, hour and a half if everything has gone perfect during the night then I maybe have time for two hours of knitting in the evening. But yeah, um, but to answer the question, if I knit everything myself, no, I don't. I don't knit everything myself. I have a couple of trusted sample knitters, and like I said, I talked about the book in my previous um, episode. I talked that uh, I'm going to release a book, and I have only knitted about half of the. Uh, designs in the book. Most of the smaller things like hats and so on are knitted by me and the larger ones are knitted by my sample knitters. And here's something that I didn't knit myself that is also coming for if Luna lets me show it to you because she's sleeping on it. Sorry Luna. Because... So a few years ago I made a pump cardigan which is a brioche rib cardigan and I made a kids version of it. So this is something that I didn't knit myself. My sample knitter made this for me. I still need to finish a couple of details. So I need to sew the buttons at the buttonholes and it's going to have pockets. I have to pocket somewhere or over there and I have to sew them in place. So this is a um, pad cardigan for kids. And the call for test knitters for this one is also coming next week. So my son is almost eight years old. He is uh, 132 centimeters long at the moment. And this is perfect size for him. And for this one, I used, um, or I didn't use, I told my sample knitter to use, um, um, this is Sunday Scarn Sunday. I can't remember the colorway name. I will write it below this video. And also Silk Mohair from Lanagatta. And this is the colorway 30146. So it's a really nice electric blue. I think it's a really nice combination. Super happy how it turned out show it to you a bit closer. So this is actually not brioche but half brioche. You can see the, the other side, the, the inside of the um, cardigan is a bit different than the outside. But this is the pan cardigan for kids and the call for desmitters is coming next week and I'm hoping to launch the pattern in July or August the latest. Let's see how quick my test knitters are with this one. And two more things I want to show you. I have actually I have talked about my um, new yarn ideas already. I have one more thing that I want to sh show you one yarn after I, I show you these two last things. So this is the Colette tea. And I'm just down to the bottom ribbing at the moment. And then it needs a neckband and it's going to have short sleeves. So it's going to have um, this cable 
like this cable and this little bit of uh, lace and then a tiny bit of ribbing so it looks like this at the moment and this is anything for olives pure silk held double the colorway is called powder and super happy how it turned out or it's turning out it's not done yet so it has like these sloped shoulders and then stitches are picked up for for the front and joined together at the front neck and then worked in the round you can see I'm dropping some of my stitches here I'm moving it so just quickly catching them so bottom ribbing and neckband and sleeves don't know if I can have the call for test knitters ready for this uh, next week but the week after that the latest and the pattern is coming probably very end of July or early August so the Colette Coletti and then I'll show you this so I was talking about summer stock call in my previous video or I made a like a special video that was only about the summer sock knit along and I already have my second sock pattern here on my needles so these are called Minerva socks and there's going to be like these little tulips so here's the beginning of a second second tulip and these are toe up the summer sauce these socks I'll just quickly grab them have them over here so these are the summer soles these socks they were the first pattern in this year's summer sock knit along and they were knitted cuff down and this is the front of the sock and and the back of the sock so this is the first pattern in this year's summer sock knit along and here is the second one so this one is going to be toe up and I'm using for both of these um, yarn from Finnish dyer called Sayavul this was the blackberry yogurt colorway and this is called Tropic Pop and as you can see Mirava socks it's going to have a slightly different pattern on the back of the foot as soon as I get to the heel and and or join the heel actually and just show you the last yarn that I'm going to use for the summer sock knit along I have it over here so this is the toasted sienna colorway it's really nice beautiful like terracotta brown so this is my combination for this year's summer socks knit along so if you don't know what I'm talking about when I'm <laughs> when I say summer sock knit along I made a video about the summer sock knit along it's my previous video so if you go to my channel you can see my previous video is entitled summer sock knit along so that's everything it, the, the video has everything you need to know about the summer sock knit along so all the all the information about the knit along um, all the patterns uh, pattern release dates prices uh, how you can join and so on so I'll just go quickly and grab one more yarn I forgot to bring it here and I'll show it to you and then I have talked about everything that I wanted to talk to you in this video so here's the last thing that I wanted to show you I got a really nice package from Wool Dreamers a few days ago and this is their new base called Sauna and this is fingering weight yarn first of all and um, the colorway is called Fratelli and I'm trying to find there it is it's 50% um, extra fine merino and manchika wool and 50% uh, cotton so this is a really nice it's kind of like blue but it has um, notes of gray and a light purple as well so I'm going to use this for a little knitted t-shirt I already 
through the charts for it on Friday and I'm going to be casting on as soon as I have a, a few things off my needles then I will cast on with this one so it's going to have cables on, on the front of it super excited about this and I actually I visited the uh, um, washing plant and mills, the, the spinning mills of wool dreamers in February I made a little YouTube video about my visit I will also link it below this video and in the top corner if you click there you will also see the video turn up so if you want to watch my visit to the wool dreamers mills in in um, Spain so this was something that I wanted to show you because I'm super excited about this yarn um, that's everything I wanted to show to you in this video and I will answer a couple of more of your questions in my next video um, I'm running out of time <laughs> to film. Uh, I always have to have all my family out of the house when I'm filming so I have a little peace and quiet and, but of course I have the cats and there's another uh, animal, our dog downstairs um, and unfortunately he's been sleeping for the whole uh, duration that I've been filming but anyway I have to have them husband and the son out of the house when I'm filming otherwise I don't have um, it's not calm enough for me to film so they are coming home very soon so i don't have any more time to film for today but if you like my videos if you want to make sure that you catch my next video then remember to subscribe to my channel and you will get always always get a notification when a new video comes up and i will just go and continue working on this little wood anemone top so i can finish making the body and I can have it ready for test knitting for you guys and remember to use the code wood and amount at the rubber wrist checkout to get a 15% discount on the wood and amount team pattern and the summer top and tee knit along is going to start after midsummer and the summer sock knit along is already running and it's running until the end of September. So that's everything for today and Luna and I want to um, wish you very many happy knitting moments. See you soon again. Bye!